just done it to me again, but said there was a big spider next to my pub. Right. This is El Cuestro Station. As you come in, you've got the helicopter port there. There is a petrol station over there. And you come into this area. This is the main area of the station. And just around here you have the section. Well, it's closed at the moment because it's very early in the morning. And this is reception. They've got the cantina there because um, the steakhouse is closed for the for the season now because they're only open another couple of weeks and um, so if you want food you order it at the bar and you pick it up at the cantina they have some useful information on the trails and this is the bar area and sort of where everybody gathers you can book your air tours here if you want to book like another tour that's not an air tour you do that online and it's quite a nice large bar area they were playing the football finals here Last night you've got a small shop and uh, that's the bar, the Swinging Arm Bar, which is closed at the moment. And then down here you've got a shower block and laundry. And then they've got all these individual showers and toilets. We have painted areas and then the caravan area. There's a mixture of powered sites and powered sites. Apparently these tents have got air conditioning. Ooh. We have no air conditioning or a fan. We did have a fan, we gave it back because all it did was blow, boiling hot air everywhere. Which is was so we just lie very still. <laughs> it's 40 degrees. But it's uh, a pleasant camp area. It's a good day camp, so it's quite commercial. I find it quite crowded. I'm not saying it's a bad, bad campsite at all, just not really my preferred place to stay. It's also quite loud. Um, there was a lot of people partying last night. Oh, it's still quite late. Uh, the bar closes about nine, I think. I can hear the music, I didn't go down. Um, I, well, actually I did go to the bar earlier in the evening to try and upload videos and was talking to a few people. But I didn't go down when the live music was on. Just mainly because I, I go to bed early. <laughs> but as you come up here, you've got more shower blocks. Um, I will say they have quite a lot of uh, showering and toilet facilities. Because there's quite a lot of people here. Um, which is quite good. And we've got some good camp kitchens. So the facilities are very good here. Just... Uh, just a bit crowded for me. Yes, yeah, so a lot of people. Anyway, I was up early. I'm always up early here because I go to bed so early. And I went to try and upload the videos, but nope. There's a stuck. One stuck at 90%, one stuck at 66%. I thought, oh, the Wi Fi would be okay because there's no one up. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, we're heading off shortly to uh, Emma Gorge in Zebedee Springs. We're never going to get past these two. Yeah, turn off soon. We turn off. They turn off. How do you know? The locals. Good morning. So we have just pulled up to Zebedee Springs. Um, there's a few people here, but it's not packed in the car park, so hopefully it won't be too busy down there. It says as you come in, if it's... Oh, nearly trodden that. It's probably that blooming bull that's been running around. Find the bull pool. Yeah, it says if the car park's busy, so is the spring, so come at another time. <laughs> okay, here we go. I could only come here in the morning between 7, was it? 7.30, Blue. Can't remember, 7. So you can only come here in the mornings before 12. Ooh. 
Oh, how peaceful is this? Wow. It's like a little tropical oasis. It's just my cup of tea. Oh, this is a tropical savanna woodland. Oh, it's lovely. Look at all these palm trees. Reminds me of my garden. <laughs> well, this was the look I was going for in my garden, but uh, after seven years, it's not matured to this yet. Hopefully someone else will get to enjoy the garden as it flourishes. Just in case you're new to my channel, um, I'm also selling my house to go travelling full time. And uh, I've had my house for seven years now and I've been building a tropical garden. And I can't really have a buyer. I was just waiting to see if it proceeds. It's already fallen through once. <laughs> So we've been at El Cuestro for two nights, but actually yesterday we didn't do anything. We kind of had a rest day. Mind you, you could say Pentecost River was a bit of a rest station as well, but burning gorge in that heat really did take it out of both of us. So we needed that little bit of respite. So we just chilled out for the day. Oh, I spent hours trying to load videos. I blew red books and blue went fishing with a fellow camper last night. <laughs> it wasn't what Blue was expecting, I don't think. It was in the dark, in a creek full of crocodiles. <laughs> but he enjoyed himself. Okay, we've arrived at the springs. Ooh. How lovely is this? We've got like a series of pools. Oh wow, let's get in. Okay, let's go for a dip. Oh, it's lovely and warm. Is it really slippy? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can feel it on the stone, can't you? Yeah. It's quite slippy in places. Look at this. Look at Blue. He's straight in there. <laughs> straight in there. Oh, I did the flash 
I'm going to throttle him in a minute. I was just enjoying myself then. Well, I'm not blooming going back in there. I'm going to lie for him. He thinks he's so flipping funny. I've got to get down this flipping rock again. <laughs> anyway, that's a series of pools. Beautiful. He's just done it to me again. Well, said there was a big spider next to my pub. Right, so I don't know why I've done to deserve this treatment this morning, but huh, rubbish. Hmm. Anyway, isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's getting busy now. Lots of people coming in. I'm just going to enjoy a bit of peace and quiet away from my brother with his joking around. Someone's enjoying it. <laughs> We're coming into Emma Gorge and we've just been warned of a deep water crossing. <laughs> Unless this is just a taster. It's not very deep. We're setting off on the Emma Gorge walk. There's warnings that stuck to the signpost at the beginning. Not to start your hike after 10 a.m. because of extreme heat. I have to say it's been very, very hot up here in the Kimberleys, like 40 degrees every day. And talking to a few people, they say it's hotter than it normally is for this time of year. The thing is, I'm just going to take my time. Fresh water crocodiles inhabit swimming holes. Here we go. This is rated one of the best in the Gimberley. Uh, let's see. I'm still putting with jammers my favourite on the Kimberley so far. Uh, and Tunnel Creek, of course, but. Uh, for Gorge Walks in Jana was still my favourite by far. So far, let's see how this compares. No, that is not it. 
Look. I mean, it's, look at the colour, it's beautiful colour. I've just stopped oh, for a bit for breaking some water. I think someone said I've got about 15 minutes left to go. Oh, gosh, it's incredibly hot. Uh, Blue, Blue wasn't feeling so well, so he's just turned back. But I'm going to see if I can make it, see how far I can get. But I'm going to put this camera down. I'm going to put it on the point of view camera because it's getting really hard to hold a camera and hold on to the rocks. So it'll be on my point of view now. Okay, it's a bit easier with my hands free. Oh, gosh, I'm glad I did that. This bit's very rocky. Oh. You've hurt yourself. Hey? You've hurt yourself. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can prepare. Yes. That's nice. Oh. <laughs> You've got a bit to go yet. Oh gosh. Are My brother's good? turned round. He says it's too hot. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. very hot. It is getting hot now. Yeah. yeah. People lied to me. They said it was a shaded walk. No, not this one. So yeah. when you get further up it is, yeah. but you've still got to climb rocks and... Yeah, it gets pretty steep, rough. Um, once you get to up. the waterfall. Oh, does it? Once you get yeah. there, it's spectacular. Yeah. Better get a move on there. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Thank you, have a good day. I'm wondering whether I'm doing the right thing here or should just turn back like Blue did. Let's see what's around this corner. It's got a fair way to go, flipping Nora. How can that be? I've been walking for ages. We did get a leg broke a leg here early season and they had to get carried out. Took yep, seven seven hours. Something. I wasn't here for that, but um, as in I wasn't physically here. Hello. Hello. Thank you. It gets cooler as you get up there. Oh, promise. It's beautiful. Yes, no, lovely. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Sorry, I'll noodle. Noodles are a good idea. Oh. Next time. Yeah. You want the good news? Uh, please, I'm 380 noodle. metres, that's all. Oh, thank you. Which goodness. means you've done 1.6 already kilometres. Gosh, so hot down there. It's a bit underwhelming. You'll love it when you get there. Don't no, say that. He's lying. Oh my gosh. If I get there and it's a. Oh, he's I'm going to be. He's like, and he has a funny uh, sense of humour. It's uh, worth every second. Uh, yeah, but just, just take it easy. Uh, oh. It's too hot to do much yeah, but no. take your time, isn't it? What's the way?
that's no sign. Uh, Put it over there. Very tricky. <laughs> oh. You're nearly there. Oh. Just, uh, there's a couple of good, like uphill. Yeah. But yeah, you're not too bad. You're nearly there. Oh, God. <laughs> it's oh. worth it too when you get there. Oh, everyone keeps saying that. I think, oh, I do hope so. Oh. No, it is very much worth it when you get there. It's very tough. Oh, That's this beautiful. one. Yeah, it is a bit of a yeah. thing done, but um, the water's beautiful. Oh, good. That's what I'm doing first, is just getting in, in the, the water. water. So I, I think everyone does exactly the same thing. <laughs> Have and a lovely like, day. You too. Oh God, where am I going?
Oh, they made it. Look at this. Look how huge. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, that's so good. was a tough walk, uh, very tough on my hips. Um, and people lie, they told me it was in the shade. There was no shade, no shade, until you actually got to the gorge. Um, and then the sun is shining at the top, so you can't get very good pictures. But that is El Cuestro done and dusted. And now we're on our way to the Bungle Bungles. So this is it for the Kimberleys. So let's just say goodbye to all these beautiful gorges. I will catch up with you when we are in the Bungle Bungles, which will be the next video. We're going to put all the Aquastro ones together because one day we did nothing. There's nothing to report. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> Take care. See you soon. Bye.